Classic Tales, Level Three, Bambi and the Prince of the Forest, retold by Rachel Bladen, adapted from Bambi: A Life in the Forest, by Felix Salton, read by Rick Adamson. Bambi was born in a quiet place in the forest, under the trees. His brown coat had lovely white spots. What a beautiful little fawn," said one of the birds. All through the forest, birds sang and called, but Bambi heard only his mother. Bambi," she said quietly to him. My little Bambi. Soon, Bambi began to look around. He smelled the flowers and watched the birds. He looked up at the big blue sky, and jumped around in the grass. Then he lay down next to his mother, safe and happy. One day. Bambi's mother told him, "You are bigger now, Bambi. I have to go to the meadow and find food. Stay here, and don't move." She turned and ran away, and soon the forest was quiet. Bambi was afraid. He waited and waited, and listened, and listened. Then he started to call for his mother. Why are you crying? A voice asked, and Bambi looked up. A big stag stood in front of him. He was tall and handsome, and he had a beautiful brown coat and big, strong antlers. Can't you stay alone? The stag said. Then he walked away into the forest. After that, Bambi's mother often went away and left him. But Bambi didn't call for her again. He wanted to be like the tall, handsome stag. He wanted to see him again and say, "Look at me! I don't call for my mother now." Bambi was older now, and soon his spots went. His mother began to take him to the meadow. He loved it there. He saw the big blue sky, felt the hot sun, and was happy. Many deer came to the meadow with their fawns, and Bambi soon had two friends, Gobo and Feline, a brother. And sister, Bambi jumped and ran with them, and their mothers watched and laughed. There were stags in the meadow too, but they didn't speak to the fawns. They only speak to the older deer. Bambi's mother told him. Bambi. Always looked for the tall, handsome stag in the meadow, but he didn't see him. One day, he told Gobo and Feline about the stag. He was taller than the stags in the meadow. His antlers were bigger, and he had a beautiful coat. Bambi said, "Our mother told us about that stag." Said Feline, "He's the prince of the forest. He's the biggest stag in the forest. He speaks to nobody, and nobody speaks to him." I'm afraid of him," said Gobo, "and I'm afraid of man too." "Man," said Bambi, "who's man?" Gobo and Feline looked at him with big eyes. 
Don't you know, Bambi? they said. Then Feline ran away through the grass. Come on, let's go and play, she called. The next day, in the meadow, the deer suddenly called their fawns. Then they stood and listened. They were afraid. What is it, mother? Bambi asked. What are we listening for? We're listening for man, said Bambi's mother. Who is man? Bambi asked. But his mother said, Be quiet, Bambi. Listen. Soon the deer said to their fawns, It's okay now. Go and play. But Bambi didn't want to play. He walked away into the forest. Who was man, and why were the deer afraid? He wanted to know. He thought and thought, and then he looked up. There above him was the prince. You're not calling for your mother now? The prince said. No, prince, said Bambi. I can stay alone now. Good, said the prince. He started to walk away, but Bambi said, Prince of the forest, please, prince, who is man? The prince looked at Bambi. Listen, smell, and see, he said slowly. Then he turned and left. The summer went, and soon it was cold, and snow danced in the air. At first, Bambi liked the snow and played in it with his friends. But the animals couldn't find food, and they were hungry. Gobo was the smallest of the deer, and he was weak and tired from the cold. The deer were always together now, cold and hungry. One day, Bambi's mother suddenly looked up. The birds are calling, she said, and they are flying out of the forest. Something is not right. The deer stood quietly and put their noses in the air. Then Bambi smelled something. It was a strong smell. He didn't know the smell, but he felt afraid. It's man, his mother said quietly. Bambi, my little fawn, run out of the forest and don't stop. Don't think of me. Run. Now. Bambi looked around. Animals ran through the forest and birds flew above. Then he heard the noise of a gun, a noise like thunder, and at last he ran. There were thunder noises all around now. Bambi ran out of the forest and through the meadow. He looked for his mother, but she was not there. Then he saw something in the snow and stopped. It was Gobo. Where's your mother, Gobo? Bambi asked. Where's Feline? They couldn't wait, Gobo said. They heard more thunder noises from the forest. You must go too, Bambi. Get up, cried Bambi. Get up and come with me. I can't get up. Gobo said quietly. Leave me, Bambi. Bambi looked sadly at Gobo, and then he ran. There was a thunder noise behind him, and suddenly Bambi felt a terrible pain in his shoulder. I'm going to fall, he thought. But in his head, 
he heard his mother's voice. Run and don't stop. Run. So he ran. He heard more thunder noises behind him, and he didn't stop. At last, Bambi saw Feline behind some trees, with her mother and the deer from the forest. Bambi! Feline cried. Your shoulder! But Bambi didn't listen. Where's my mother? he asked. Feline looked at him. Man's guns took her, Bambi, and Gobo fell. She started to cry. Bambi lay down in the snow and closed his eyes. But then he heard a voice. Get up, the prince said. You can't sleep here, Bambi. It isn't safe. Bambi didn't open his eyes. He wanted to sleep. Feline put her nose near Bambi's ear. Go, Bambi, she said. Go with him. Slowly, slowly, Bambi got up onto his feet. The pain in his shoulder was terrible. He wanted to lie down and sleep. He wanted to think about his mother and Gobo. But he heard the prince's voice, and he walked slowly through the trees behind him. Soon they arrived at a quiet place under an old tree. It's safe here, said the stag. You can sleep now, my son. Son, said Bambi weakly. Yes, said the stag. I am your father. Bambi stayed in the place under the old tree for a long time. He was very weak, and he thought often about his mother and his poor friend, Gobo. But the prince was always with him, and slowly his shoulders started to feel better. At last, one afternoon, Bambi came out into the sun. It was spring. The sky was blue, and Bambi could hear the birds. The prince looked at him. You are well now, Bambi. You can go and find your friends, he said. And so Bambi walked away. There were many deer in the meadow that day. Bambi saw the big blue sky and felt the hot sun, and he suddenly felt older. But he felt happy, too. Everything is beautiful, he thought. Bambi! cried Feline, and she ran to him. Bambi! You're well again! Feline put her black nose next to Bambi's nose, happily. Yes, thought Bambi, everything is beautiful. <laughs>